Hi right, guys, thanks for checking the video out. Look what I've got back with me. The season has begun. University of Exeter. Coming off of the best season ever for any UK university. Are you feeling the pressure? A little bit. A little bit, okay. <laughs> Go on, give me a fair answer. No, I'm no. totally confident. No, I'm feeling well, good. This man doesn't know. Brand new to the fold. Yeah. So we are over in Northern Ireland. We are, well, where are we? Which course are we at? Moyola. Moyola Park Golf Club. Beautiful looking track. We're going to play a three hole sort of, let's call it a championship match because we are preparing for a 54 hole Irish youths and Colleges. Colleges, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a very big tournament. Guys, you look so stiff. <laughs> is it the beginning of the season that is worrying you? Is it the camera? I think it's just the cold. It's yeah, just the cold. The overnight ferry ride, probably. <laughs> the overnight yeah. ferry ride. Well, Welcome yeah. to University Golf. Let's see how we get on. So Joe, how far have we got? Once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a one, camera. One four, one five two, isn't it? One five two, isn't it? Surely you should know. How far was it? One five two. What club have you got? Can you answer that question? I think I've got an eight. He thinks he's got an eight. <laughs> That's a great start. He thinks he's got an eight. So a beautiful little par three. Green's really narrow, a bit downhill. Good line. Where's that landed? Front right bunker. Front right bunker. So you you playing a little knockdown shot then? Yeah. Just pushed it a touch. Because I've got wedge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. <laughs> He's gone. Go on, Williams. So what have you got? I got nine. So you got nine. And you go in like three quarter. Yeah, it's a little smooth one. Okay. Don't think anyone's going to agree on a club here. Hold the line is the shout. Yeah, very good. Not sure if we do we pick that one up. Yeah, very nice. So that's like a three quarter nine. Yeah, it's a smooth one. Do you think you could get wedged there? I haven't hurt yet. And the but question's more it was more of a selfish question. Do you think I can get wedged there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is this is a three hole challenge. Ideally you miss the green. Mon what have you got Mont? I've got an eight. Eight nine. Real smooth one. So smooth eight. Good as well, good line. Very good line. Yeah, that's yeah very nice. Thanks. So after those shots, I'm assuming wedge isn't the club. What's the wind doing? Well I think it's a little into. Yeah, it's mainly it's off, off the left, left, I think. I, I thought it was into off the right. I got into off the left, the last. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's so left yeah. straight off the left. Well, the, the second is that way, and that was pretty much straight down, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, going. I'm going wet. Yeah, exactly. Bold move. I just feel like the I mean, there's green short, so if it comes up short, it will still find the green. Let me get it back. <laughs> yeah, I've hit it left. That's what happens when you try and hit it too hard. <laughs> Not the best of tee shots, was it, Chris? Not your finest moment. You weren't that impressed with that one, were you? I got it pin-eye, that's the good news. Had to shut the face like that to do it, though, so maybe not the club. 
This is a tough, tough shot. Let's play like a flop shot. Grass is against me. Oh! <laughs> what are you smiling about? <laughs> Let me get the pivot, then I'll have another go. This is a. Uh, this is not going to plan. This is why I coach you, Christopher. Should be uh, leading by example. Yeah. Well, he's missed it in the wrong place. He worked all down here. You see why I was trying to play the flop shot so delicately because it is completely downhill. But uh, nice shot there. Not so good first one. We got Joe over here. Chris in the way. He wants to be a part of this. Wait your turn. Again, this is an easier shot than mine because it's a bit up the hill. But saying that, it's a bit of a bowl. So this one might release as well. That's a great shot. Great little shot there. I like that, like that a lot. Chris played a really nice controlled shot in there. Bit unlucky it didn't release past this corner of the bunker because it would have rolled down even closer. Monty is a fraction closer to the other side, uphill. Very much a birdie chance. That one's oh, drifted a bit. Yeah, you can have it. That's absolutely fine. Sol solid par. We'll ignore that one. So Monty's first act as a member of the University of Exeter. Could it be a birdie? It's up the hill, left to right. And it is. And it is. Is that a sign of things to come? I certainly hope so. Birdie machine. Always nice to get a nickname like that. Mine was never that. Come on then, lad. Yeah, good lad. Am I potting mine? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. We've seen them miss these. <laughs> Very similar line to mine. Never in any doubt. Boom. I was going to say par, but it's not. I've just remembered the horrors I had. But beautiful birdie. Two other good pars. So, par four, stroke index one, 421. Bit of a dog leg. Can't really see a lot of the hole. It looks beautiful. We've had a look around the corner and it looks like it's quite tight into the green as well. Monty with driver. Got to take it tight up the left I think. So he's ripped it so that that just needs to sit down a little. Is it on the fairway? Oh yeah, that's even found the fairway. Cool. Even found the fairway. How rude. Well, no, so that we weren't sure if it was driver or three, but it's quite soft here, so it rained quite a bit. So I think driver is the play. I think it had like a 305 yard run out. So, oh, there we go. He's changing. <laughs> he does listen to the old coach buzz man. <laughs> And drive it. See, Joe, it's a bit of a draw, so this is perfect for him. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Great flight. Sure. Great flight. 
Yeah, like that. So just a few yards further up the Monty, both looking down the green, beautiful. Chris is a man mountain, he hits it absolutely miles, so I think three would probably is the play for him. He'd have to take it so tight down the left if he hit driver, so. Boy's got some swing speed. Doesn't like it. But out to the right. Just cost himself a bit of yardage. I think I went <laughs> a lot of yardage. He's just there. But I, I think, again, that not the best of swings, as the divot will show. <laughs> but I think it's the right play. If you would use driver and hit that swing, you would be out of town right now. And that wouldn't be ideal, would it? Less than. Should be all right. It's tight down the left. Tight down the left. Find it, but it's certainly missed the fairway. But uh, not as good as yours too, but it'll do. So Chris has one eight two. He's blocked out a little bit. Going to certainly need to hit a bit of a cut. This green looks awesome. It looks like there's water around it as well. Worthy of its uh, stroke index one status. The other two lads are. Flush in the middle. He's clipped something. Right trees. He's in there somewhere. Very good leave, but that's probably that's all I gotta say about Wyatt. How far have you got? Uh, 160. So 160, so perfect drives looking straight down the green. Awesome looking hole. One is impressed with this layout. Always uh, lucky they're going to have a great tournament. Provided I think the weather's going to be a little bit rougher the next few days, but you get weather like this and it is perfect. Oh, good flight. Can't be good. Be good. Great shot, really like that. Very solid shot. So, kind of a yard further up, Monty. He controlled the flight there. So really great shot. Probably taking an extra club, a bit like on the par three. See what Monty's going to do. Monty full of swing, higher flight, straight down it. Oh, oh, Monty, here we go. Flag shagger. Oh, got a foul mouth though. I'm gonna go get rid of that. Shot though, boy, very nice. The 108. So I've had to chip it out. Bugger, not ideal when you're already one over. Great shot there, Monty. Thank you. Give myself a chance. Yeah, that's very nice and three and tight there. Same, same as the tee shot, I just I did pull it a bit. It's completely blocked out. You definitely need to use the right hand side here. But I gave myself a chance, so that's all I can do. Right, so Chris has just found the right trees. Not too bad. You can chip it straight under, so yes. pins so are pretty. already out. Chances himself to hold it, I guess. Check, check. 
Ooh. Get to the bank. It's tough down the hill. How good's this? There is a water hazard, it's a river. Probably the biggest water hazard you can have. But we will see with um if you can see where I am. Not too far away. Monty again inside ten feet, but very tricky left to right putt. Joe again, very straight downhill. Maybe a fraction off the right. Two quick putts coming up. See how they do. Very much a pace one. Got to give it, if one, again I said it in a previous vlog, give yourself a little extra break will make it come down the hill slower, which could be of great benefit. Yeah, you're just scared of it. <laughs> Face says it all. <laughs> He's going to go on and crash for par. Just giving him a sense of chance up the hill. Oh, he has as well. Oh! And there's a little cheeky smile. He wasn't overly happy with his first two, but very sneaky little up and down. A nod of the cap. That's what I do. What's the fairway? Good par there, mate. Very good. Okay, oh. Loads of slope. You can have that one. You can have that one, not a problem at all. Go on then, carry on, Joe. Good luck. Solid. Not the easiest putt here. Loads of slope. There's a lot of slope here. There's slightly down the hill. Just. This hasn't turned. Good, good little wedge in there as well, unfortunately. Awesome. Leads with a stroke. Kind of got a bit of scared. Oh. Last hole of this three hole challenge, par five. It's a very makeable bit into the wind, but uh, should be given us birdie chances. The max is quite tight, so looks like it's a slight dog leg. So I'm going to try and hit down the right hand side of the fairway. Just leak into the right, but it looks like it should be okay. Dog leg right, so it's followed the shape of the hole. I'm not sure if you can carry it or not. It yeah. almost looks like you can go too straight. I mean, I might be wrong. We'll find out when I get up there. But uh, hmm. so Joe's down, just missed the fairway on the left. Pretty good drive. He's got three wood out. It's quite a stiff wind, so he's going to have to hit a good one. Might come hot out of the rough though. Seems to light the swing. Do my best to zoom. Have you seen it come down? Yeah, just under the trees on the left. Just under the trees on the left. So again, good miss. Probably wanted a little bit more, but not too bad at all really. got away with it. It snuck through. <laughs> if you turn around, Mon Monty, and have a look at it. Not <laughs> I've, I've got two, four, five, but it is into quite a stiff breeze, so I've still got three wood. Hoping I'm not gonna do roots about, so I'm hoping it will come out okay. Come out a bit low. Sit down. Pretty much the same as uh, Joe, a bit down the left. Probably after the drive I would take that. Not too, not too worried with that one. So Monty's just missed the fairway, but 
not the end of the world, he's picked up a pretty good lie. Into this wind again, so although he's further up, he's still got three wood. Knocks this on the green, and he is assuring for this three hole challenge. Oh, he's ripped it. Just needs to sit down a bit. Sit, sit. Ooh, slightly over the back edge. Slightly over the back edge, but that's a great shot. Not the longest of par fives, but into this wind, two good whacks. Well done. Got a uh, Chris is the furthest one up, so we will uh, see what he's got. Looks like he's got the two line. So, again, Chris, like I say, Chris is certainly has the quickest swing in the squad. Very athletic. Oh, he's always punched the two. That is clever. Got on, be good. Oh, it's just caught that. That is unlucky. I mean, he deserved a bit more than that. I like the idea in the shot, but that's going to leave him a tricky little there. How far you got? 50, yeah. 50. <laughs> he has got to his lie, realised it's a bit closer to the lip than he first realised. What have you gone to? 53. So 53. So that would be Chris's gap wedge. Flip it up. Sounds easy when you put it that way. Oh. Oh. Not ideal. Got sand everywhere. Lovely. Never mind. Bit unlucky with a second. Not the best. <laughs> three yards closer. So, about three yards closer. <laughs> so he's still got an opportunity. Kind of shows you why that bunker's there. Trying to protect the par five in two. Certainly in a position where he needed to go for it, so you can't really complain about that. But when you take the risk on and don't pull it off, you can make it a bit harder. You never get it up and down here, no harm done. Just call a chase. Oh, quite a bit of slope in that one. So that's, uh, that's why we're having a practice round today, learning about slopes. It certainly looks a lot flatter than that, so nice pitch, par putt, break the bunker, pal. <laughs> Joe, again, pretty good second shot. Given We're playing up the green now, so we've just seen Chris's ball really run from right to left as it entered the front of the green, so this must be straight up the slope, soft green, so we've got a good chance to pitch it up close. Contact. No. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Yes. Chips, you're not that. You don't seem that excited. <laughs> no. Don't get excited about chips. <laughs> don't get excited about drives. <laughs> it's all about the long ball. So I'm a few yards further up in the trees, as you would expect, but not too bad a shot. Similar shot to mine. Straight up the fall of the green. For this to go in, it would have to hit your ball. <laughs> slam dunk is always and an option. Slam dunk the bug. LeBron James. Good contact. Very nice. Very nice. Not quite as close as mine, but it's not bad. Alright, you, you didn't <laughs> care about your shot a second ago. So Monty went just through the green. The, the hardest of chips. I'm not, I haven't seen what the lie's like. Good lie shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, gone a little higher, so. Oh, release, 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 release. No, I just went a little bit high. Good birdie chance, though. Good putt. Slightly on the high side. That's the pro side. Who's it on? Yeah. Again, this is a birdie and this wins, I'm afraid. Mm, if this one goes in, you've got a chance to tie it up. Just be excited about you. <laughs> You're too calm, You're too collected. Oh, Monty's played well. First, first time I've seen him out on the course. 
I'm gonna get that one. Got the easiest of cuts. Okay, that's a lot. Oh, oh you still got a chance. Shave the lip. You're got a putt to half him. I am all up. So there is a putt to half the match, however, it is not my one. So I'll get out of the way for you guys. And let's this. Is this is the putt everyone wants to see. I'm slightly above Steve's line here, so I'm going to keep a good eye on it. See what it does. Oh, it's so just stayed on the left. It. Turn to the I'll bear that in mind. So you have a putt now to tie the match. Dudum. Drum roll please. That wouldn't be sporting. Oh look at him. He, arms crossed. It's like the PGA Tour when, when you're looking at the guy in the truck. He wants to make it look like he doesn't care. <laughs> but deep down, it means everything to him. Chris is just relaxed. Look at him. You think he's he already lost? I think he's posing for a catalogue there. This one then further half. Bit off of the right. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So one under par through three holes. Two of the men. There were two others. We did turn up and we hit some shots. We tried. We tried. We certainly tried and that's the main thing. But yeah, so these guys are over here. Got a massive tournament uh, the next three days. Hopefully the weather is great. <laughs> and these guys keep up the good work. Hope to catch you soon.